hate you, Justice Sorry. League. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, DC sorry. fanboy. Sorry, man. Sorry. What are you looking up, Wendy's? All right, so I want to. Yeah, sorry, Brogway. Um, <laughs> did you guys hear about this Twitter feud between Wendy's and McDonald's? McDonald's? Yes. yes. Yeah. It was. Um, have what? you heard about this, buddy? No. All right. Did you Wait, see? Whoa. We got a video. Stop whoa, it. whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no, no! Hey, did you see that? What? One more after this. After you read this, Southwest. It's a, like a joke that came out about. Did you hear about like the airplane? Uh, United, basically. Did you hear about the United flight where the guy got drug off? I did hear about that. Okay. One of four. Well, after this, we'll talk about that. Uh, teaser. Uh, <laughs> so, this is a couple weeks ago, but McDonald's tweeted, Today, we've announced that by mid-2018, all Quarter Pounder burgers at the majority of our restaurants will be cooked with fresh beef. Wendy's official Twitter account responded to this and Dude, said... Wendy's has been killing it, though. And said... At McDonald's. So you'll still use frozen beef in most of your burgers in all of your restaurants. Asking for a friend. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, Wendy's is on a tear, though. Wendy's is and awesome then right somebody, now. Somebody retweeted that and said, uh, at Wendy's, you starting beef with at McDonald's? And then Wendy said, we'll stick to our fresh beef. They can have those ice chips they're serving. <laughs> <laughs> no response from McDonald's? Dang, Eat there was... Meat. There was yeah there is there's there's just no response except then somebody says but seriously though Wendy's Twitter is on and then fire right. emoji and then Wendy's was like out here trying to melt these fools. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, McDonald's was taking it. McDonald's could just put up their sales and just say, "Well, screw you, Wendy's." <laughs> somebody said Wendy's is spitting fire, yo, and then they said Wendy's official Twitter account said someone ordered a SmackDown and then we supersized it. <laughs> <laughs> This is legitimately hilarious. Like yeah. they, they've been earlier, going strong, though. You mentioned, yeah, you mentioned earlier that they they did this. There was uh, one guy, just some random person with like very small followers, like tweeted at Wendy's and said, uh, "Your beef is frozen, and we all know it. Y'all know we laugh at your slogan, fresh, never frozen, right? Like, really, you're a joke." And then at Wendy's said, "Sorry to hear you think that." But you're wrong. We've only ever served fresh beef since we were founded in 1969. And then Thuggy D said, so you deliver it raw on a hot truck? And then no response. And then that same person said, y'all should give up. McDonald's got you beat with that dope-ass breakfast. <laughs> and then Wendy's, Wendy's responded and said, you don't have to bring them into this just because you forgot refrigerated trucks existed there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Like my, uh, my my point is like why not right I mean if you're like this brand? big corporate yeah, account like that it, I mean man. use Twitter for what it's meant to be used for yeah I think that's but see that's what marketers do I mean that's they're like hey that who's in social media they're the ones reading that and that's why it's so clever to hire young people to be able to respond <laughs> dude I don't know if this is a joke or not I hope this is not I really hope that they really did this tell, tell us about uh, it so the United story so basically uh, United was like, went to this flight and they're like hey we need four people to get off four passengers to get off and no one got off and they asked again but they were going to give $800 out to the four passengers no one got off and then they pulled this doctor off but they like Abruptly pull him, pulled him off with excessive force, smashed his face, and the police pulled him off the freaking airplane. And so I saw this tweet today, and so Southwest uh, – hopefully they did this. It says Southwest – it's their logo, and it says, we, we beat the competition, not you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they did they, – so they did a drawing, and so a doctor was the one that was drawn and asked yeah. to leave. And they said, we'll give you the voucher. And he said, no, I, I'm, I have appointments. I need to leave. I'm yeah. a doctor. I yeah. need to leave. I left and so he that. refused to leave. <laughs> And so they literally dragged him off, like because they physically needed physically dragged him. Like they knocked him out on the arm. Rest. Yeah, yeah. And they he was kn- bleeding from his mouth. Busted his lip. They yeah. needed him because the because they needed four flight attendants to make that plane. They're like, well, we need a pl- uh, other flight attendants to be on this flight to get home because we need them to continue to work on whatever or get home or something. And he's like, well, I'm a doctor. I need appointments, and you. I'm sorry. I luckily I had draw. to leave today. But United, I have to go. United is not fucking around, man. <laughs> no. Oh, but there's yeah, all, so much hate on Twitter right now for United. Oh, yeah, it's a PR disaster for sure. Yeah. For anybody listening to the podcast, too, if not that hopefully that never happens, you get knocked down in an armrest or anything, but <laughs> if they ever forcibly remove you from a plane without your, you know, volunteering consent and, yeah, consent, and uh, they delay you up to a certain amount of time, you're entitled to like your ticket price plus like four times that, I think. And they'll literally give you a check. And say That's good amazing. day, sir. So yeah. just so you good know, day, argue, sir. If that ever happens to you, probably won a million chance, but do it's it. awesome. Okay, deal. Yeah, plus the lawsuit that will drop on those guys so fast. If I was that guy, I would be suing 
the there's fuck so, out there's of There's so United. much video evidence, too, of it, which yeah. is nuts. It's so, yeah. like, that's what social media is now. It's just like, hey, what can I, I record? Buddy, can you find the likes? CEO's response? Like, I, I feel like he had... Oh, yeah, he, like, doubled down on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what yeah. did he say? Yeah, uh, while well, he's looking that up, um, if you haven't seen the video, it's it's all over the internet at this point. Just, yeah. just go look it up. It's pretty wild. And then it's like, we're in this... We're in this like part of our society at this point where if anything like that happens, everyone has their cell phone out. It's viral. You know what I mean? Like everyone <laughs> has their cell phone out. Everyone's recording it from a hundred different angles and like able to stitch together this, you know, this whole incident. I wonder why like why would that would happen posts. though? Just, like, like I wonder why that like how does that happen? You know, like that happens with fights that. at school, you said Nick? Yeah, Man. world star. Kids got to stop yeah. fighting. World star. You guys got to stop fighting. You guys got to start loving. Settle your beef in Every like Mario Kart. Day, dude. Every other day, there's How fights at your school. What? Where the hell do you go? Pretty much. <laughs> Are you from the film Dangerous Minds? That's that's from like the eighties. That's not gonna yeah, work. Yeah, Nate not Dabber, good. I knows what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, He's from gotta, Power Rangers, man. He's you gotta, gotta settle road. your beef in video games. Yeah, you know, that's what <laughs> mm-hmm. we used to do. And then somebody gets sniped enough, and then you just actually go punch that person. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what I've done. Yep, <laughs> that's, we've been there. We've yeah, all man, been like, there. no, no, fightings, fightings for chumps, bro. Fightings Walk for away, chumps. be a bigger man, man. This is me calling out anybody in your school that fights. You don't fight though, right? No, I've been in one fight. That's cool. All right, that's, that's all right. Good. I mean, every once in a while you got to. Every once in a while you yourself. got to. It's okay. You beat you beat the crap out of him. Okay, well, All right, well shout out to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Now I wouldn't mess with him. Cause... Buddy, you got that quote? Yes. Right now? He said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he says the situation was unfortunately compounded when one of the passengers was politely or we politely asked to do plane, refused, and it became necessary to contact security officers for help. Our employees followed established procedures for dealing with situations like this. Well, while I deeply regret this situation arose, I also emphatically stand behind all of you, and I want to commend you for continuing to go above and beyond to ensure we fly right. It's uh, a standard. Oh, he, he dropped a he fucking standard say, can yeah. response. Like, what a bullshit response, though. What a piece of shit, man. I don't... He should be removed as a CEO. Like he, he should be. Super yeah. I don't think it's his fault. No. But but still, Who like his PR team, like they should be fired. That they should like take a page stupidest. out of fucking Wendy's social yeah, media Jesus, and then dude. be Let's real. Like, like own up for that shit yeah. and take it like a man and be like, not like a man. That's a pretty stupid response. They got to They just take it like a like a. Their like response a, like a, is directly, kind of uh, directly related to their stocks. So they look at this and say, what if our stocks are happy? Right? I think they actually did plummet. And what, what am I going to say? Do I want to look like a cop-out where I throw my employees under the bus and be that type of CEO and own up to it? Or do I want to stand by my employees and by my stockholders? That is true. That is true. And so it's pol- it's completely a PR response, and that's exactly what he did. Man, not- I just I don't know. Not not just a I don't I'm not wasn't looking for like an apologetic response. But I mean, but that, CEOs but. do get fired. Like the the CEO of uh, Target during their when that breach that happened like three or yeah. four years ago, he quit. Uh, he was asked to resign, and like he had nothing to do with it. They yeah. got hacked. He had nothing to do, but they had to show the stockholders that they were doing something. Well, yeah, so. the, the, they mean they they didn't mean for that to happen, yeah. and they're going to show them that. But yeah, I don't know. Behind them. Do you guys uh, are you guys watching? I don't know if you guys are, are watching, but I'm excited for the next upcoming shows that are coming up because uh, better Ca- better call Saul was just on last Dude. week. I don't oh know if you my god, that. I, mean, okay. I haven't started that series. I'm, I'm so glad you don't brought this up. Happens. Better call. I'm Saul. so glad you I brought this up. Yet. I, alert. I am re I'm I'm not rewatching. I'm watching through it on Netflix right now, and I'm almost done with with the season end of two. season two. I'm at like two or three. so. The episode first episode ten. couldn't couldn't grip me enough though to continue. Don't through. go in expecting Breaking Bad. Yeah, I okay. Would say. okay. That's the thing. It's like That's I know what threw me off a little bit. Okay. Yeah, because because since it's a spinoff, you're thinking like, okay, I'm expecting the same like heightened level of. Like the heightened level of stakes, or the stakes should be just as high as Breaking Bad. Do you think the stakes are not just as high as Breaking Bad? Do you think we'll ever get to that level though, where you'll see Walter yeah, White? I definitely. think it will. Yeah. I don't know if they'll bring Walter White. I know Walter White's been on the set visiting, um, and they were joking on Talking Saw about how uh, they were joking with um, Vince Gilligan, the writer, and was saying like. Oh, is this? I mean, it's kind of another version of Breaking Bad. This guy, you know, the end result. He becomes Better Call Saul, but he's a nice guy. Jimmy Gill becomes Better Better Call Saul, and you already know the ending. It's how he gets there. And Bill Gilligan is like, yeah, that's all we know how to write. We only know how to write good guys becoming bad guys. It's we're one trick ponies. And so, if you go into this one thinking that it's going to be, I mean, it's not Breaking Bad. And it's a lot lighter. But it's still the same formula of he's a good guy, you like Jimmy, and he's you know what he's going to become. Yeah. And I think this one's a lot 
more focused on the character development than it is about the danger. It is about the the uh, urgency of everything because Bre- uh, Breaking Benjamin. Breaking, Benjamin. Breaking, Breaking Benjamin. Bad. <laughs> it's the diary of James. Breaking Rachel Bad. Tell me. It was all about the urgency. Like, all like, oh my God, he's got to do this without getting caught what? by the cops. He's not doing anything crazy or illegal, at least not super illegal. He's you, not you, what about that. the commercials, though? The commercials are brilliant. They're, oh, yeah. They're, they're so, so awesome. What, what's the, the, the chicken place, whatever it's called? I can't remember. Mm-hmm. And boy, I look that. Yeah, man. But yeah, Ooh. this one's going to awesome. have Gus. I think they've already handed to it. Well, with that commercial, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm also excited. House of Cards, I think, is coming out soon. You got to catch up on it. Um, House of Cards is coming out. I have not uh, seen Jessica that at Jones all. Jessica Jones Two is coming out soon. Jessica Jones was awesome. I loved. Yeah, Jessica Jones. Really? Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. So Fist, Fist of Fury is that what it is? Iron Fist. Iron Fist. <laughs> I heard it was. I haven't watched it. I've just heard such terrible things. I'm not motivated to watch <laughs> Fist it. Fist of Fury. I don't yeah. want to say that I'm like swayed by reviews typically, yeah. but I have to be honest. Like with so much good TV out there, I only have so much time. Mm-hmm. And if something gets just absolutely blasted by reviews like Iron Fist has, I'm not going to watch it. Like, I'll watch The Defenders when that comes out, right? Like, what they're building towards with yeah, yeah, Luke yeah. Cage and uh, Daredevil and Iron Fist and Jessica Jones. Like, I'll watch that, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to care to. And I'm keeping an eye on that. It was in January, Star Trek Discovery was supposed to come out, and they keep pushing it back, pushing it back, pushing it back. So now it's indefinite. It's going to come out, but they don't know when. Broadway. Go. I'm watching Deep Space Nine. And I really like it. Where are you at? Uh, ten episodes in. Ten episodes you in. You got of the about first season. Deep, Deep Space Nine. What's you that? Got, you got about three hundred episodes. Is that, is that episodes Star Trek? It's it, it went that it's long. It's one hundred and seventy episodes. Wow! Holy yeah. God! It takes a long time. It's it's, it's old. Star Nine, Trek. Yeah, Star Trek ninety three. I think yeah, maybe it or to ninety. Like it's like ninety two to ninety seven or ninety three to ninety eight. Was that on at the same time as the Next Generation? It so ne- yeah so Next Generation and uh, Deep Space Nine overlap like this. I know they can't see that, but like the end of Next Generation. <laughs> you just made a Wu-Tang Clan <laughs> W. <laughs> and then uh, Deep Space Nine and Voyager overlap just a tiny bit, too, when Deep Space Nine ends and Voyager begins. Okay. Um, so, wait. But at the one time, there was like almost three shows at the same time. I can't tell you why I picked Deep Space Nine out of all of them. I just kind of randomly looked it's at all the of them, and I was like, all right. Is it on Netflix? Like, what story. is it on? Uh, Netflix, yeah. Okay. All of the Star Trek shows are on Netflix right now. The Dominion is like the most well introduced character or Eric introduced uh, race or bad guy, and they're so well made. Like you just hear a word about the Dominion, and, yeah. then, and then you don't hear about them for a whole season, and then you just slowly integrate them, and next thing you know, they're the most evil thing in the world. It's I'm, so well I'm really liking the vibe that like Benjamin Sisko gives off as a commander. So, yeah. in, like He's obviously, really I know the gravitas that like a uh, Jean. Uh, Jean Luc Picard yeah. can bring right, and I know I'm gonna say Jean Valjean. Jean Valjean. <laughs> I'm Jean Valjean. <laughs> uh, shout out to all my musical <laughs> buddies out there. Um, <laughs> yep, Les Mis. Okay, cool. Okay, um, but you know I know that the, <laughs> I know the gravitas plummets, that like a, a Patrick Stewart can bring to a role, but it's nice to know that like I was this guy a relatively unknown actor. I would imagine at some point maybe. Avery. Well, yeah, something Avery. James Avery. James Avery. Something maybe I don't know. Um, but anyways, I'm re- I'm really enjoying it. I don't it's have much so else good. to say about it right now. I like the characters, I like the character building. I like that character Dax that they have on the show. The idea Dax. of that character. Same yeah. Yeah. So essentially, it's like the the creature itself is this worm that lives and selects a host, but it's not like a malicious thing or any like he selects a host and he lives inside this host and changes bodies whenever he has to. And so the commander Benjamin Cisco knew this character, this this Dax uh, symbiote worm worm guy, whatever whatever they actually look like, as a previous life and he was like this old grizzled like war veteran that they have a ton of stories with and Benjamin Cisco like talks about how they used to like hit on girls He's together and like drink He's together and was like a mentor. And then now Dax is like a young lady. The young hot babe. Yeah. <laughs> the show and stuff. And so it's weird to yeah, like call, see their he, dynamic change. He based calls on the that. young girl uh, an old man. He's like, how you doing, old man? And it's a woman now, but it has the old man symbiote inside of her. Yeah. It's really funny. So, and that's just, I, I think that's really cool. And I think that's something that like I never really appreciated about Star Trek. And I know why you've always been a huge Star Trek fan. And like I just, I've tried so many different times to get into it. I just couldn't get into it. And I finally was just like, all right, what I actually need to do is give it a shot for, like, two seasons and, like, get invested in the characters. Because I would watch, like, an episode of The Next Generation or something. It'd be, it's always on TBS or whatever, and you'd catch it and you'd watch it. And you'd be like, okay, that was that was pretty good, but meh. You know, and, and 
it's also that you're fighting an older show that, you know, the production values have increased in modern TV shows so much that you don't really feel like. 